What's going on everybody? This is me Alex and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new LG G Watch unboxing. So without any more further ado, let's go right ahead. <laughs> I just want to start off by saying that I am extremely sorry for the three month delay in all the videos. It's just that I've been extremely busy with all the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, and iPad Air 2, iPad Mini, uh, all the different uh, unboxing and reviews and checking them out. But I'm finally back with more videos and new technology for you. But the first, I just want to introduce the new LG G Watch unboxing. And I just purchased one of these uh, three days ago and have it overnighted to me right now just so I can go in and get it as quick as I can. I just want to give you a tour of the unboxing, what it is, because it is actually one of the coolest smartwatches out there, as well as the Moto X and the Samsung Gear Live. However, the Samsung Gear Live is a bit more expensive, and I did purchase some Black Friday, actually on Cyber Monday, sorry about that. I got an extremely good deal. I paid $108 for this device. Uh, normal price retail is $229, so I saved $150 bucks right there. We've also got on the back of the box the LG. It just gives you some information about the actual watch and the uh, watch is very very fun to use I have looked at it and in the stores and it is very responsive and touch unlike the Moto X which does have some lag uh, so all you have to do is make sure that you just go ahead and cut the seal open uh, it's a very tricky to seal to cut because they do not want you to accidentally buy a new one you cannot tear it open as you see you have to have a nice edge and it's not perforated so you got to find the correct edge and just slice it open once you have done that, the cover just lifts off with ease, and then you are exposed to the actual watch. Now, the watch uh, does have an ice screen of about uh, 1.5 inches, so it's a nice resolution, 240 pixels per inch. However, it is a nice clear resolution due to its small size screen. And uh, with the new Android Wear apps, you are registered. And I uh, chose and purchased uh, the gold and white version uh, because for some reason, I've always owned a black watch and I've always uh, loved the, the white watches. So, and the black Titan, as it's called in the LGG watch, is uh, black with a little bit of slate in it. Inside the box, you get your uh, battery, or not your, your battery is actually in the watch, but inside the box, you get your charging cradle, uh, as well as a micro USB cable. Um, that's a standard micro USB cable that you can use to charge your phone. Any cable will do, just LG was nice enough to include one for you. You also get a uh, manual as well as the actual watch itself and the travel adapter that you use to plug into your USB. Once you have the watch out, the watch just slides right out of its actual packaging. So all you do is just go ahead and unbox that. That comes out of its packaging and then you're greeted with this beautiful display. You actually have to pull off the uh, tabs on the bottom and the back. There are two separate tabs. All you do is just peel them off and looking around the watch, it does have a nice beautiful display. Uh, beautiful backing to its little five pins that you see right there for charging. You get this nice gold and really, really soft, touchy silicone band that's really fun to play with. And all you do is just peel off the display and you're greeted with this amazing mirrored finished display that's pretty much going to be only this clean for one time inside this little package you can get your charging cradle you can just pop that right out of its socket and then you're greeted with this little polyurethane thing that just sticks on your desk and there's actually a nice package finish at the bottom of that thing that's so strong that it's actually stuck to your desk right now it's actually stuck all you do is plug in the usb once you have plugged that into the wall you can just go ahead and throw your um you can go ahead and just throw your watch on that thing and it will charge every night. It is magnetic so it's a really cool feature if you see right there. The watch will power on. Now that's the only way you can turn on the watch if it's completely dead is to power it on. Otherwise the watch will stay on the whole time unless you power it off. The only way you can power it on is to put it back on the charging dock unfortunately. So if it does power off on you, uh, you get uh, a dead watch. But over here you have uh, your Android Lollipop, Android 5.0 firmware running on your watch with the Android 5.0 lock screen so you can tell that this is a new watch because Android Lollipop has just been released. I've also updated my Nexus 5 to Android Lollipop which is an absolute firmware build. I'm one of the first people to get it of course other people still have to wait such as Samsung and LG have to wait a long time. If you set up the watch it's going to ask you to please select your English. I'm going to select English of United States and uh, all you do is just go ahead and select that. That's pretty much as easy as it goes. I'm going to go set up through this process English and install Android Wear on your phone. Now, unfortunately, you are going to have to do that. 
Um, Android Wear, when this watch was first released in June, it has been almost impossible to get. All you do now is just go to Android Wear, complete account setup, go to skip and just install this invite. Uh, you're going to be greeted here with Android Wear and then it's going to go ahead and install the 15.36 megabyte app onto your home screen. It is by Google so make sure that you actually do download the Google one, no uh, other one. All you have to do is just search for Android Wear and it should pop right up there. Now if you notice right there, uh, once it finishes downloading, just go into your notification center and select the application. And then once that's done um, downloading, all you have to do is just launch it and complete the setup instructions that it does provide you with. This watch is very, very nice in uh, setup instruction wise, so it does give you a lot of information to set up. I noticed uh, before I was planning to get this watch, the Moto X didn't really give you a big enough choice. If you take a look in here, all you're going to do now is just slide down and click on the Android Wear installing thing. Once it says finish installing, or you can just click on the big open button right here in Google Play. Once you have done that, slide down and just click on Android Wear. Android where we're launching it says let's get you set up make your watch smart click on accept 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 turn on Bluetooth that's that's the first step so the first thing you have to do is go here and then turn on Bluetooth then you're gonna select the G watch which is gonna be automatically almost immediately displayed so just click on the G watch 3813 and it's gonna connect your G watch now your pairing code is gonna make sure you match that 815 896 and all you do is just click on the little circle and it's gonna say pairing with Nexus 5 that's going to go ahead and pair and you want to make sure you also pair on your phone so you get to tap that too and then it's going to immediately connect to your watch and say paired. Once that happens it's going to go to notification settings and then you're going to pop that up and make sure you have that enabled or else no notifications that appear on your phone will appear on your watch. So you have to have that enabled. Now you're pretty much connected to your watch and you can go ahead and browse your suggested applications. But before you can begin anything, your watch is going to want you to download a firmware update, which will take a long time since it is virtually downloading through your phone and then transmitting that over Bluetooth. So it will take a long time. Mine took about 20, 25 minutes almost to a half hour almost uh, in order to set up. And in the meantime, you can browse your Android Wear app such as Google, uh, My Car Locator, which I have yet to try out. Uh, you also download Family Locator, which is a weird one actually. And also a whole bunch of communication apps, health and fitness apps, entertainment, uh, travel and local. And Netflix and everything else that you would like to do on your uh, smartwatch once you have done that It's gonna start the download firmware and as you see it's gonna take a very long time So uh, soon here I will actually cut out and it's gonna say right there downloading So you really want to pay attention and make sure that that finishes in the meantime You can go ahead and dim your screen and I heard that you can dim it if you cover it with your palm But I don't know if that's true. So we're just gonna have to watch. Oh, yeah, there it goes and all you do is just wake it up with one arm. Now right now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the actual process when it finishes downloading the firmware because uh, we are done for now. Once it's going to do that it's going to reset so it's going to ask you to please power off and then click on accept. And then it's going to turn on with the LG Life's Good logo. Once that turns on just wait for it to finish turning on and then you'll be greeted with this little boot animation with this little light up thing on the bar on the bottom. That tells you uh, that bar only appears when you have upgraded to a new firmware, so it doesn't appear when you don't have to have it appearing. But just wait for it to finish booting up. The first boot up will take, of course, the longest. However, um, just finish and wait for this to go ahead and go through its actual process. Okay, now it's going to say LG life's good and after the boot up happens, all you're going to do is going to log on to your watch. It's going to turn on and then it's going to say uh, to this little boot up again, just like it appears on your Nexus 5. So just continue and please hold until your watch just turns on. Then it's going to say Android is upgrading, finishing boot, and then you're going to be almost done. So just wait for this to happen. And then it's going to go ahead and finish the boot. Just a minute is what Android Wear says to you. And then it's going to say, Android Wear, just a minute, please hold. Just a minute. I'm going to tell you to continue, please. And then it's going to finish anytime soon. Okay, now once it has turned on, it's going to say the 429 Google. Uh, of course, it's Speak Now. Google Now turns on automatically like that. And you have a whole bunch of things. You can take notes, reminders, do all that that you want. Um, 
of course there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do uh, stuff that you will do and stuff that you just ex won't but here's an example it's very accurate how tall is the Empire State Building 1250 feet or 381 meters it also gives you all the information that just comes off of your phone so if you're out, out there uh, without Wi-Fi this will use your phone's data however that will be very very um, rarely won't use that much anyways guys this has been the unboxing of the LG G watch uh, stay tuned for a review uh, within the coming weeks I will be here with you Bye, guys. See you in my next one. Peace.